Hi Wildcats, it's me, Mr. Walters, your Dean of Students and your very best friend. Welcome to the first episode of The Dean's List. You might be asking yourself, what's The Dean's List? Well, on this channel I'll be showcasing some of my favorite books and authors, and each month or so we'll have a theme. Did you know that February is Black History Month? Black History Month was started in 1926 by Carter G. Woodson. It was initially only a week long, but now is a month-long celebration of the accomplishments and achievements of Black Americans. In your classroom, I'm sure you'll be celebrating Black History Month in a lot of different ways, but my favorite way to celebrate is through books. We're so lucky to have a library full of fantastic books, but it just got better. This week, Mrs. Sanchez will be adding 37 new books to help us celebrate Black History. You might be asking yourself, with all these books, where should I start? Who should I learn about? Well, have no fear, your dean is here with a recommendation from Black Heroes, 51 Inspiring People from Ancient Africa to Modern Day USA by Arlisha Norwood, PhD. This book is filled with fascinating biographies, and today I've chosen to share one of my favorites with you. Mae Jemison is an astronaut, physician, and engineer. She was the first black woman to travel to space. Mae Jemison was born in 1956 in Alabama. She has been fascinated by science since she was a young girl. Mae was a curious and ambitious child. She especially loved studying the human body. Mae's interest in science motivated her to work very hard in school. She graduated from high school early and started college at Stanford University when she was only 16 years old. As a young college student, May faced discrimination because of her race, gender, and age. But May was brave and determined. She continued her education at Cornell University, where she earned her medical degree. May joined the Peace Corps, where she worked as a doctor in Africa. One of May's biggest goals was to use her knowledge to educate others. She wrote manuals to teach people how to take care of their own health, and she helped create guidelines for health and safety issues. May also had dreams of becoming an astronaut. She applied to NASA in 1987. She and just 14 others were selected out of 2,000 applicants. After a year of strenuous training, May became the first female African-American astronaut. On September 12, 1992, May's dreams of going to space came true when she launched in the Space Shuttle Endeavor with, the six, with six other astronauts. As a scientist on the shuttle, it was May's job to run more than 40 scientific experiments, including cell research. May spent 190 hours, 30 minutes, and 23 seconds in space. She orbited the Earth 126 times. After returning to Earth, May retired from NASA and founded two technology companies. May continues to educate others as a professor to spread her love for science and medicine. May is also an important social advocate, working to support more diversity in the sciences and math. In honor of her many amazing accomplishments, May was inducted into the International Space Hall of Fame and the National Women's Hall of Fame. Ready to learn more about me? Great news. One of the new books in our library is May Among the Stars, written by Rhoda Ahmed and illustrated by Stasia Burrington. Check out this book to read about May's childhood and how she became the first black woman in space. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of The Dean's List. But before we go, I want to hear from you. Let me know how you're celebrating Black History Month. What books are you reading? What art are you making? I'd love to feature your class on a future episode. Until then, I've been your Dean of Students and your very best friend, Mr. Walters. Bye, Wildcats.